sure is a lot of pickups in this place. So I just pulled up to the Farmer's Business Network office in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I'm gonna go check it out. I was here a year ago at the old office. Since then they have moved to this office, so let's go see what it's like. So I'm inside and Ariel is my account, account, manager. account manager, which we'll talk about that later. <laughs> We're gonna go check out the office. It's just gonna take me around and uh, show you what FBN in Sioux Falls is all about. Come check out my crib. So I've been in the California office and this is the new office so it kind of looks the same. Lots of people doing lots of things. So what's all going on here? So over here we have all of our HR team, our recruiting team uh, for employment, our event planners, our data scientists, our technology guys, the four people um, that are kind of in their own little bubble before you hit the back. That's going to be some of our data team here in the Sioux Falls office that actually um, processes all the data that farmers are sending in and making sure it's cleaned up and put into your account properly. So if I stick my thumb drive in my computer, zip it, upload it, those are the guys over there that make it all show up on my yep. website or on the app. Yep, they make it pretty for you. There you go. All right, so I'm here with Matt. And Matt's probably one of the guys that I work with the most besides Ariel and my local guy. He does all of the data uploading to the platform that yeah, I get to see on my computer, yeah. on my phone, whatever. So we'll pick a field. Can you show us kind of what what I upload, what yep. it looks like, and then what it looks like in the end. Yep. I'm going to do one of those canola fields, that's fine. So here's yep. the final product. Yep. So He'll show us what I send him and then what he all does here to make it work. Yep, so what I so what you send me is the raw files. Uh, go through the case file, go through the logs of it, um, run it through our programs that we have and upload it and then twenty four hours you have the final product, which is the map and the actual benchmarking and the analytics of it. So it'll take all the work out of it for me. That's what he does on his end. Makes it readable so I know what's going on. We'll show it compared to our area, our region, our state, and that crop in general, all of FBN, and give me a benchmark on what that field ran compared to everybody else that year. Whether it's soils, Variety. varieties, some weather info, on yep. rainfall, things like that. Right. All that Elevation. goes into factors. So, complete whole farm overview on how your farm is working, yeah. what's yeah. potential. Yeah, so taking the maybe five to ten minutes it takes for you to pull it off of the USB and upload it, and giving you all that in about a matter of about 24 hours after you upload it. Yep, basically, how I stumbled across FBN. I was looking for something to do this, and I couldn't do it on my own without making shape files first, upload into this, and that's where they come in. Yeah, I'm paying for two or three different uh, softwares. Exactly. Running different colored machines. Here we have our crop marketing and our insurance representative that we have in the Sioux Falls office. And then we start with our account management team. So they are working with all of our members across the country. And behind them is going to be a lot of our um, executive leadership and our supply chain guys and gals, uh, as well as our credit team that we have here in office. Uh, so FBN Direct is our chemical portion of things. And then our seed representative, our head of seed, is typically in that back corner as well. Because uh, we've got alfalfa, we've got uh, corn, soybeans, that kind of thing. Just a variety of different things. Uh, that your account manager has probably called you about, or if you haven't been called, let us know. There you go. Shameless plug. Would you like to be on YouTube? Sure. Hi, YouTube. So then this is just going to be more of our account management team. Uh, we kind of go based into different territory areas. So your territories, kind of you're grouped up with your people that you're dealing with remotely to the farmers as well. Yep. <laughs> Bar. I wonder what it would be like here on Halloween. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I'm deflating a little bit though. So. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> we have a fun office. <laughs> There's dogs running around everywhere. Yeah, pretty, pretty relaxed atmosphere. You're going to make some calls with that on? I have. <laughs> I can fit my headset through here, but it gets a little warm. <laughs> All right, carrying on. It is obviously Halloween. Hi, Keanu. 
actually do not bark. No barking. He's a little T-Rex. worried about the T-Rex. And then we have some of our feed supply chain as well as some new endeavors um, going on right through there. And then our customer support team. Uh, this is the road they are housed in, and so if you call into the 1-800 number, you'll usually talk with them. Uh, they will start doing some of the order processing as well, and that's that area. Then we have our customer experience team, which is a new part of SBN. Uh, those guys are really making sure that all of our members are getting as much out of their membership as they'd like to, and that they're aware of new things going on. Uh, I know farmers are pretty busy, so it's a little hard to get everybody on the phone, so they're reaching out to some of those guys that might be in bad service areas as well, like Montana. I just don't answer your call most of the time. <laughs> I, I usually see you calling. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and then over here is our SDR, so that's our sales development representative. So these are our employees that are calling out to different people who may have expressed interest in SBN. Uh, they might have wanted more information on like a feed relabeling report, or they saw an advertisement and they just kind of want to know a little bit more about what we are reaching out to people that have showed some sort of interest or want some more information. Or someone referred them, hey, such and such might be interested, mm -hmm. call yep. them. This is the most important part. Mm -hmm. Break room. And across the top, you'll see all of the tenants of the different schools that the employees have gone to. The most important one, North Dakota State, is further back, <laughs> uh, but it should be higher up because it is the top tier school that we have people from. No pride. None. <laughs> no idea to pride here. So that's basically the walk around on the office floor. We're more than happy to, to welcome our members to come pay a visit. So if they're not a member, what's the normal membership cost? Typically a year's membership is about 700 bucks, which with everything that you get back, it is a steal of a deal. Especially if you go to the Omaha conference. That alone is worth the $700. Mm -hmm. Pretty good yeah. time. Lots of cool speakers, big name speakers for keynote speakers. You can talk with any of the staff there. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Good time. I've been to all four, three of them so far. This is five coming up. This is five. So I've been, yeah, I've been to all of them, however many it's been. So I'm here with John. He's the field rep in our area for FBN, and he works alongside with uh, Ariel. Ariel kind of does like the from the computer side. John's on the road a lot, so if John makes a sale, maybe Ariel finishes it up on her end, like for chemical or whatever. We've contracted some peas this year, which was probably one of the best contracts we even came across this year. Picked up on the farm. Um, there's lots of potential new markets out there that you guys can find. Yep. The chemical side. FBN has a national pricing model and everyone pays the same price and, and we wholeheartedly believe that that's a possibility and it's, and it's proven. And does that go for the seed as well? Yeah, it's so, just chemical. So we've been working quite a bit with seed price transparency as well. Um, uh, as a lot of folks know, we are now in the seed business. Now the field reps, the gear position, there's dozens of you out there now kind of covering the whole farm terrain i'd say yep and your job is to work with the farmer on like the sit down here's your data do you have questions on the website put on events group everyone together for stuff what else yep so our a, a big goal of ours is to grow the membership fbn is strength in numbers you know if we can add more and more farmers especially to different areas we can get better data for them to benchmark we can get better pricing um, you know in terms of the shipping costs and things like that we really want to bring new education and and ideas to our farmers so um, like out here in montana every year we have a montana event where we have actually most of our farmers come over and you know we talk about new marketing opportunities we also are there to help with any issues with your accounts with with any orders really connect with growers in a way that somebody on the phone necessarily can't so all we're out here trying to do is is really bring back the profitability for for everybody one thing that i really like about fbn is they're more looking for like our ideas and making them happen they're not like we're going to build this software and then hopefully everybody can yep. figure it out like 
They're not building things that don't make sense. Their focus is like what we need. That's how the company was started. Yep. So that's kind of the overview of FBN. If any of these things kind of spark your interest, you want to learn more, get in touch. We'll put the link in the description for the website. Someone will get in touch with you from FBN, whether it's someone like on John's level or somebody from the office back home. But uh, back home. <laughs> Back in Sioux Falls, like that's the kind of. The, I lived there for a year. It's, it's kind of home for it's me. It's kind of FBN home <laughs> for the Midwest. Yeah. They're in the description. I will put the. The refer, website. The referral code. The website. And if we have a phone number, if you still like to call. Yeah, we'll put the so. phone number in there. So, thanks, John. Great. Thanks.